Okay, Mr. D here today to introduce you a way to do the firmware upgrade for the NK808B. You know this this toolbox NK808B is a very popular and hot selling in 2012. And many customers buy this box and some of them have some problems with this box and uh, now my job is to do to show the firmware to them and uh, today the firmware box is for this box for this box is to add the XB Xbox 36 360 support can support controller and add the uh, robot Robot key on this on this on the system of this box so that you can do the recovery with a different F card in on this TV box after I do this firmware upgrade. Okay, see the desktop. See the desktop. You can see it very clearly. You should you download see this NK eight or eight B file files and open it. You will get. Uh, NK808 B Fanless package. This uh, this is a decompression package, and you after you after you decompress it, you will get this file, and open this file. You can see the drivers, the drivers, and uh, the uh, the firmware bugs, and a uh, tool, a uh, readme. Already me to show you how to do the firmware upgrade in English in English very detailed. That's enough so long. I we did not see that. I will today I will show you to, to do how to do the firmware upgrade for the NK808 very fast and convenient. And you have seen the flash tool, right? I will see the flash tool. We open it. This tool, just like this tool, and okay, we let it go. And I will see the drivers. And commonly, when you do the do a firmware for your mini PC, you should when you connect uh, this PC with the computer, you should you should install a driver before. This is the the totally two driver for your computer. We have the different kind of OS like Win 7 and uh, also we have the XP 2000 and Win 7. Okay, when you when you do the driver, install the driver, when you install the driver, the next thing you should do is open the these tools. Okay, now let me show how to do in detail. First, I will see this box. The find the OTG port, and can, you can do the firmware upgrade. Use the one USB cable to connect with the PC, and you should do should connect the OTG port only when you do the firmware upgrade, not the charging charging micro USB. Remember. Okay, we see the light. Find the light. Okay. See the blue light. That's the charging light, and we find the another. Okay. Okay, okay get closer. Pardon. Yeah, you find the, this is the blue light. Okay, and this is the recovery light. Re recovery key. Okay. You use the pan to you feel something. Okay. Okay. Can you see it? Okay. Find, find, find the, find my US rock USB. Can you see it? You just uh, click the flash roll. Okay. Now the firmware is doing. You just wait, wait patiently.
Okay, I receive the run. Okay, that means you down or down the firmware success, and uh, then you, you know, then you can you finish the the, the upgrade for this book for NK eight or eight B, and uh, you should clear clear status window. That means you down this firmware very well. Easy than the more easy than the introduction. All right, and well, you should remember, you when you do the upgrade to add the to add a reboot key for this box, you should download the right firmware package, and when you de decompress this package, you should you if you do you are do the first do the upgrade for this box on your computer for the first time, you should install a driver according to the tips of when you connect the PC, the, this box with your PC, and you choose this, choose the, the right, right driver for this box, and when you, after you install the driver, you just use this tool to choose, choose click the flash RN then you you can done it very well. Thank you. I missed it. Okay, here is uh, just uh, the OS interface when you first do the firmware for the first time when you open this box. Okay, let's we see it, see the difference after we do the firmware upgrade for the NK it. Yes. Have you seen the reboot key? Reboot key? This this one? Okay, reboot key. Click it. Yeah. After you click the reboot key, you find the Add the new function to this T box. Reboot, reboot to recover. Reboot to boot load and uh, solve the power off and uh, cancel. Yes, we can see it. Power off. Yeah, you can. After you do the firmware upgrade, you can use the software power off key. Yeah. Okay. You can access is very well. And you can also con connect uh, your PC, your TV box with the Xbox Xbox 360 game controller to play the uh, play a game, good game very well.